Good evening and welcome to the bar. For your tenth cocktail, I suppose you deserve one with a real story. Let me set the scene. My name's Felix Leiter. Glad to meet you. Mine's Bond. James Bond. Now let's see, what shall we have to celebrate? Bond insisted on ordering Leiter's Hague and Hague on the rocks. And then he looks carefully at the barman. A dry martini, one in a deep champagne goblet. Oui, monsieur. Just a moment. Three measures of Gordon's, one of vodka, half a measure of Kina Lille. Shake it well until it's ice cold, then add a large, thin slice of lemon peel. Got it? The barman seemed pleased with the idea. Gosh, that's certainly a drink, said Leiter. Bond laughed. When I'm uh, concentrating, he explained. I never have more than one drink before dinner, but I do like that one to be large, very strong, very cold, and very well made. I hate small portions of anything, particularly when they taste bad. This drink's my own invention. I'm going to patent it when I can think of a good name. He watched carefully as the deep glass became frosted with the pale golden drink, slightly aerated by the bruising of the shaker. He reached for it and took a long sip. Excellent, he said to the barman. But if you can get a vodka made with grain instead of potatoes, you will find it still better. So now the scene is set, I'll just whip one up for you. First, fill a cocktail shaker with ice. Add three measures of export strength gin. Add one measure of grain vodka. Add a half measure of Cochi Americano. Shake very well. Strain into a martini glass and garnish with a twist of lemon peel. Now, what do you think of that? Some drink, huh? The Martini Vesper is the quintessential Bond cocktail. Invented in the print of 1953's Casino Royale and named after Vesper Lind, the eponymous Bond girl. It's strong, as you may have guessed from the ingredient list, but elegant and it's not surprising that it is now an IBA New Era drink. If you are really striving to match the original recipe, you might notice that it differs from the one I just read out. Kina Lille is no longer produced. The word Kina represents the fact that the drink used to contain much more quinine. Lille Blanc is a more recent formulation. Personally, I have been using Cochi Americano in place of the Lille when I make them. Cochi Americano is an aperitif wine that more closely matches the original style of Kina Lille. While the invention of this cocktail is clearly in the text of the novel, the inspiration is open to more interpretation. It is thought that the martinis made at Duke's Bar in London may well have inspired Ian Fleming to make his own. The Duke's Hotel website actually claims that it was the inspiration for the shaken, not stirred catchphrase of the titular character but the hotel's reputation for martinis may be more recent than the book, casting some doubt on the matter. But even if we cannot work out exactly what inspired Ian Fleming to invent this cocktail, we can still enjoy it today. What do you think of it? It is strong, but when served properly chilled, it doesn't burn at the back of the throat. As the drink relies heavily on the gin, you need to choose a good one. I've chosen Plymouth gin that I recently picked up at the distillery. It's one of the few gins they recommend trying with just water, and you can really taste the flavour in this martini. Using Cochi Americano in place of Lille Blanc adds a more quinine flavour. It's a bit like a subtle gin and tonic. It's definitely a strong cocktail though, and I wouldn't recommend you drink too many of these of an evening. Maybe Bond's suggestion of just having one at dinner is really the correct way to drink it. Now would you care for a game of cards? Oh, you've got to be going. Don't worry, I understand. I'll see you next time. And remember, always drink responsibly. Dr. Wilco's Campaign for Better Beverages is a production of Tinker Tailor Soldier Sponge Productions. It was researched, written, and produced by Dr. Wilco. The cocktail was mixed and drunk by Dr. Wilco. The music was George Street Shuffle, licensed under Creative Commons by Attribution 3, by Kevin McLeod of Incompetech.com. You can support this podcast on Patreon via the show notes and the website, drwilco.org forward slash Patreon.